Prolonged sitting in a flexed posture. Part 2. Biomechanical symptoms. Upper body. Do you recognize this sitting position? Do you sit most hours of the day? Do you feel discomfort or pain in your upper or lower back? What happens to the thoracic spine? The thoracic spine is extensively convex, with the shoulder and head tilted forward. The pectorialis minor is held chronically short, locked short. Abdominal wall weakness. The abdominal muscles and fascia are locked short. Over time, abdominal girdle elasticity is impaired. In the cervical muscles, the sternocleidal mastoid is locked short, as is the upper trapezius. Here we see what happens to the neck muscle in forward head posture. We can see that all the muscles are locked short. See how their shortness pulls the head forward or how the forward head posture shortens them. In a neutral spine sitting position, the spinal erector muscles stabilize the spine. In slumped sitting, all the load is moved from the muscles to the posterior passive tissues. The body rests on the tissues, creating imbalance. The middle trapezius holds the whole shoulder griddle eccentrically loaded tight. Lack of rest for the muscle and tissue surrounding it will in time cause local tenderness, tightness, and pain. This animation illustrates the effect of tightness on posture. In a kypodic position, the front line tissue is locked short instead of being in a neutral position. Shortening of the superficial front line. In addition to the superficial front line, in a slumped posture, we can see also shortening of the spinal line. The oblique abdominals are locked short, and a chain reaction pull forward the serratus anterior, which connects to the rhomboid tissues, and these connect to the cervical extensors. In this position, the entire spinal line is pulled downward, and here we can see the effect of flexion of the thoracic vertebrae rounded shoulders, and forward head position. This animation illustrates only the myofascia that envelops the muscle where the locking we are talking about is created. This is what we have to treat. Kypotic position and slumped sitting over time causes shortening of the superficial front line and shortening of the spinal line. So what do we do with this knowledge? How do we treat it? You'll find the answers in the following animations.